Hi guys and welcome to another quick technical Wednesday rundown here on the Kiki and Manny photography blog. My name is Manny and today I want to show you guys a quick technique how to create a new tool panel with Adobe Configurator 2.0 and integrate that into Photoshop. Let me quickly show you what I mean with this. If I open my Photoshop now you will see I have my normal tool panel as everyone does. But if I do my skin retouching, I normally integrate another tool panel to increase my workflow and to be quicker with my Photoshop. Let me quickly show you how I do this. I'll go to File, select New, to just open a new window, have a new image in my Photoshop. Alright, and now, if I go to Window here at the top, select Window, if I go to Extensions, I do have a thing called Skin Retouch. What is that? If I select Skin Retouch now, you will see, wow, I do have a new panel on the left side with just individual tools that I need to retouch skin. How awesome is that? So this is what I want to show you guys today, how to integrate this whole tool panel into your Photoshop, which is actually pretty easy to do. You just have to follow a few steps. Alright, let me quickly close my whole Photoshop and let me close this, this. Alright, so pretty much what you have to do is you will have to go to your internet. Open Safari browser or your internet browser and you will have to find a thing called Adobe Labs. Go onto Google, search for Adobe Labs or use the address here at the top. It will directly bring you to Adobe Labs. Once you've got there, you have to go all the way down and then have a look for two things. Configurator 2.0 installer and Configurator 1.0 installer. Now, if you do have CS3 or CS4 versions with 32-bit versions, you would have to go for Configurator 1.0 installer because you run on a 32-bit version. If you are on a CS5 version with 64-bit version, you can go with Configurator 2.0 installer. This is just because you're running different bit versions. So, if you do have this configurator, it's both the same with both versions, it's just they run on separately on different Photoshop versions. So, before you start with this, you just bear in mind you have to have Adobe Air installed. Then if you don't have that, select that and a new window will come up with Adobe Air. A download button here, download it, it's also for free, install it and afterwards you go to download configurator 2.0, hit that, download it and install it. Once you've done all of that, you go pretty much back to your computer, to your settings, and find your configurator. I've got my configurator here, Adobe Configurator. If I select it now, it will run now. And there it is. All right, so now you've got a whole new window. You select, you've got a few options here. If you say Create Panel now, you select Create Panel. And in here you will see basically this square is your new panel. So on the left hand side you do have tools, commands, action, widgets, containers. In the middle the whole square thing is your panel and on the right hand side some options to adjust this whole panel. I don't play around with all these adjustments here. The only thing that I need to do is I have to change the name. So I want to change the name to retouch because I'm going to do some retouch tools in there so if I do some skin retouching like I showed you before I just have the skin retouching panel and I just work with that so let me rename it to retouch tools okay hit that save it just click in the other way click in the panel here it saved it automatically and now I want to start creating this panel get some tools in here so what you have to do is you will go to the left hand side and select tools on tools you have to select whatever tools you want to integrate into your panel. So I'm going to take all my retouch tools that I mostly use and integrate that into my panel. Mostly I use the arrow tool. Now if you drag it in here you will see these blue lines coming up. If you go somewhere with this thing they will automatically come up and that's just a grid so you know where to align your tools so it looks a bit better the whole panel and it's nicely structured. So if I drop it now it just fits into this corner. Okay. Then I mostly use my healing brush tool. Then I use my clone stamp tool. I use my zoom tool and pen tool and brush tool. All right, but now they're all in a different order and I want them to be uh, ordered nicely and like I have them almost like I have them in my real tool panel. So what you have to do is just take it up. You can move stuff around and 
wiggle the stuff around. It's really easy to operate in here. And they always snap to a grid, as you can see. There's like a whole big grid now, so it's really easy to work with that. If you want to select all of them, you can just select all of them and play and drag them around or put them next to each other. Just play a bit with this. It's really easy to use it. So now the super thing is you can even change the height by dragging these small boxes here on the side or like you can actually take change the whole thing. I want it like that, looks pretty nice and neat. But still, I still want to add a whole command now into this, integrate a whole new button. So I'll go to my commands, go to main, and I want to select in my filters, I mostly use liquify for my retouching as well. So I drag the liquifying over in here. And if I drop it, it snaps in the middle with the line now. If I drop it, I created a whole new button. And you can create as many buttons as you like. You can just throw them in. Alright, once you've done that, I just want to adjust the length a bit, the height. Okay, drop it like that. Looks good. So now you have to save it and physically install it into your Photoshop, which is not too tricky. Everyone can do this actually. I'll go to file and quickly have a preview at my panel. So I'm just happy with my panel, how I want it. I like the structures and everything, the height, every says even retouch, it's good. All right, hit the X and now you have to save this. You can also save this and next time you want to in enter or like put another tool in there, you would just have to open this whole panel and you can like add, put add-ons and put other stuff in different tools, different options, some commands, anything you like. But to install it now into your Photoshop, you will have to go to File here at the top, select File and you would have to go to Export Panel. Select Export Panel, select your desktop, select that and our configurator will say successfully exported the panel, retouch to yada yada to all the desktop. Okay, hit OK and now if you want to you can X that or minimize it. So now you see you've got this folder on your desktop saying retouch tools. So now the tricky part starts. It's not so tricky to do it, everyone can do it so don't be scared. Retouch tools has to be integrated in your folder of Photoshop. So for all my Windows fans you will have to go to I think my computer program files then you have to find a dope folder you have to find Photoshop folder you have to find the plugin folder and panels and then you take this whole folder and just drop it into panels or you just copy it, paste that's also a possibility do it like I'm quickly going to show the Mac guys on my Mac I'll go down on my menu bar here and select my Photoshop hit right click go to options and show in finder select show in finder and it shows me the whole package the whole folder of my photoshop all right open that so i'm going to go to plugins select that and going to look for panels select panels and in here i basically just drag it into it or copy paste if you want to and that's it that's pretty much it you have to do once you've done that, you just go back to your Photoshop in your menu, select Photoshop, run it, and then open the panel. If So now I'm back in my Photoshop, I'll go all the way to my window, go to extensions, and ta-da, we've got retouch tools. Now if I select that panel, select it, and on the side you will see there's our whole new panel that we just created. Nice! Now we have a retouch panel to just do skin. So if you want to add on some stuff in here, you can just go back into your configurator, add some stuff, save it, put it into the folder and reload Photoshop. And there you got it. Really, really nice and easy to use. So now you got a whole panel that just works with your retouching or just say your skin retouching. You got all the tools you need for skin retouching. So now I did another tutorial on how to create workspaces and how to save them. I did another tutorial on how to get these colored background colors here in your menus. And now the final thing is in your Photoshop you can X the new, to new uh, the old panel, put the new, pa new panel to the side maybe, structure it nicely, whatever you want, with it, what, however your panel looks like. You can put it like that. Then you go back to the arrows here at the top select that go all the way down to new workspace select new workspace and now before you save the new workspace just make sure you have the panel you have your drop down menu with the colors and you have the workspace you wanted 
and then you go to the arrows, select new workspace and say retouch workspace. So just type it right, retouch workspace and hit the boxes at the bottom here, keyboard shortcuts and menus, tick that off and hit save. And now at the top you will see that you've got another retouch workspace. So it's really easy to swap now between your original panels and the new created panels. Let me just go back to my other workspace. I have to X that and change it back to the way I had it. Go to tools. All right, let me show it to you now. If you open your Photoshop and you have to Photoshop something normal, you go like this. You have a panel like this and a workspace like this. If you retouch skin now, you just go to the bo top here and select retouch workspace, hit that and ta-da! You've got your new panel on the left hand side, your different workspace, say if you got a different workspace and a different menu at the top. So it's really, really easy to integrate that into your Photoshop. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit. And thanks for watching. See you guys next week on another Technical Wednesday Rundown. My name is Manny and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.